Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of This is China. Today I'm going to be talking about massage and cupping. Massage and cupping, known as anmua and baguan in Chinese, have essentially the same function which is to restore the qi in someone's body. Now qi is kind of like the life force, the energy that kind of circulates through a person's body and that can become stagnant through different problems in your body's circulatory system or you know all different kinds of medical stuff I'm not you know sure about. What it essentially does is tries to restore the balance of your body and make the life force flow evenly through you. Massage, cupping, and acupuncture are three of the kind of pillars, three of the many pillars of Chinese medicine and people all over China do this all the time in order to cure ailments of just about any kind. It's really easy to find a massage place in China. You just simply look for the sign that says Anmo or look for the thing that says Zuliao and that's it because Zuliao means like foot massage and Anmo just means massage in general. And massage places will have the Baguan, the cupping. They'll always have that or well they should anyway. When you go to a massage place make sure that it's got a lot of beds in it. You know there's a lot of people getting massaged together. And if that's happening, there's probably not going to be any monkey business. You know, you're in a room with six or seven dudes uh, and maybe some ladies. There's probably not going to be any hanky-panky. That's probably the easiest thing to look out for. Uh, don't go into a private room because who knows what could happen if you're in there by yourself with this lady or this guy. Who knows? <laughs> when you get to a massage place, you're immediately confronted with a bunch of menus. Uh, you can choose the different options that they have, the different packages or whatever. When I go get a massage, I like the 100 minute 86 yuan uh, package, which they will like clean my ear, massage my face, stomach and like chest massage, leg massage, kind of a whole body massage basically. But they'll spend maybe 40 of those 100 minutes on massaging your feet. That part of the massage, I will admit, seems fairly long and boring, but it does feel really nice. <laughs> I will admit though, the general body massage, in particular a back massage, is not fun in China. They use different techniques in China than in the West. They do a lot of things like called zhiya, which is like they, they, they will like push you and prod you and like stick their fingers in your pressure points and it's really quite unpleasant. Um, but again, it's to get your chi flowing and like your blood can be stagnated in these different pressure points. And you know, when they when they go through all those crazy pressure points all over your body, I had no idea how many there were until I actually went there. It was insane. But you come out and you just feel alive. Just, ah, you know, you feel great when you come out of there. But in that moment where someone's got their finger in your back and they're digging it in, they got their elbow and they're just slapping you with it. And it feels like they're doing something illegal. It feels like, Ooh, this is not okay. It's like legalized torture, but it'll feel good eventually. Let's move on to the cupping because that's probably the most interesting thing that's offered in a Chinese massage parlor. What happens is that there's this little cotton swab and it's dipped in rubbing alcohol and then it's lit on fire and the, whoever it is grabs it with tongs or something and kind of swirls around these little glass bubbles, these little glass jars or things and um, scrubs it around on the inside and then uh, sticks it on your back and then alcohol burns it creates a vacuum it uses up all the oxygen creates a vacuum and pulls your skin up like this and it feels like you have essentially got a giant clothespin on your back and doesn't feel that great and what this is designed to do is to rejuvenate your circulatory system kind of give it a kick as well as your immune system and they used to treat colds and other kind of things and to like fight cancer oddly enough but what it does is it breaks all those little capillaries in your back. It breaks all those little blood vessels and uh, in the process of repairing those blood vessels, you know, since it's being repaired, those little pieces are are new and it's supposed to make your blood vessels younger and um, more alive and all of that. And um, I don't know if it actually works, uh, but it does. You do feel really good after it's over. You feel really alive and you feel you feel just awesome. <laughs> yeah, you know, at the time it's it's very uh, uncomfortable. It's not nice. My fiance doesn't like it at all. <laughs> Take a listen to this. <laughs> she doesn't like it at all. But uh, it it is. I do like it, and I think it it works for me, and uh, I will continue to do it because. Hey, they've been doing it for thousands of years, so there's got to be some kind of reason for it. 
I'd recommend the experience of a Chinese massage and cupping to anyone unless you are someone who just doesn't like a lot of pain or feeling uncomfortable uh, then I w absolutely would not recommend it but uh, it is it is something you should do at least for the experience of it you know when you're in a new country try new things you know and this is just one of those things you should try and if you find it works for you hey do it more well I guess that's about it for this video I can't really think of much else to talk about if you've never seen me before this is the first time go ahead and click that subscribe button I make China videos every week and uh, you know, click the like button if you did like the video or leave a comment on uh, videos you'd like me to uh, make in the future. And I guess that's about it. See you all next time.